Hey everyone, it's Rachel. I have something pretty exciting to share with you today. Recently in the mail, I got a package, as you can see right here, and inside of it is my first ever acoustic guitar. I've never owned an acoustic guitar before and haven't played one either, other than maybe a few minutes before on my dad's old acoustic guitar before I even really started getting serious about guitar. So this is really my first time with an acoustic and I'm excited to share it with you. First I'm going to unbox the guitar and then I will try out playing it for the first time and just see how it feels compared to playing an electric guitar. I know playing an acoustic will be pretty different than an electric. I know it's a lot harder on your fingers and I will probably struggle with some things at first. I also don't know any acoustic songs or riffs really so I'll just kind of noodle around today and hopefully learn some cool things for you all in the future once I get practice with it. Before we get into the unboxing, I just want to mention that while this is not a sponsored video, Orange Wood Guitars did send me this guitar for free to check out and I'm really excited to take a look at it and I want to say thank you so much for giving me the chance to try out an acoustic. Now let's unbox this guitar and see what it looks like. All right, so let's see what is inside the box. I believe it comes in a big bag as well, which will be nice to have around and nice for storage. I think I know what model it's inside. I think it will have a pickup, as I mentioned, and it is one of the higher end models, I think coming in at around 395. So let's check it out here. Just throw this out there. <laughs> that made more noise than I thought it would. This is actually pretty heavy. Oh, something fell out of the box. <laughs> I have not done many unboxings, if you haven't been able to tell. <laughs> All right, awesome. Out of the box. And let's see what fell out of the box here. Oh, we got a, a hat. Thanks for that. All right, so let's see what is inside. Wow. This looks awesome. Just my first impression is that it looks really awesome and the inlays also look very cool. Very cool. It's also actually lighter than I thought it would be. I guess I picture acoustics being heavier, but this is really cool. Love how the top wood looks as well. There's also some knobs on the side, which are part of the pickup system. This is what the back looks like. This is awesome. I really like how this looks so far. I also like the little cutaway there. They sell different models as well, but I went with the cutaway just because I thought it would be easy to get up to the higher frets and I thought that would be nice for me to have so chose that model but there are different options they have on their website as well. Overall just looks really cool. I like the inlay around the hole and the sound. I don't know my acoustic terms very well so not totally sure actually what that's called but the hole that allows the sound to resonate in the guitar. Let me just tell you a little bit about the specs briefly before we jump into trying it out for the very first time which I am excited to do. So this guitar is the Mason Live model and as I mentioned before it has Fishman pickup system with a built-in tuner and the fretboard is called Ovancol which I guess is a close relative of rosewood, so it's pretty similar to that, and it has some very cool inlays that you can tell. It also has a Sitka spruce top that you can see here, and it looks awesome, and the neck is mahogany. Overall, it just looks really awesome, and I am super happy with how it looks and really excited to try it out. So with that, let's try playing acoustic guitar for the first time. Immediately, I'm noticing the huge body size compared to the electric. It is interesting. I don't know where to rest my arm exactly, and I'm definitely not used to the size of the body, so definitely will take some getting used to. First, let's just see if it's in tune or not. It actually sounds pretty good. I am impressed. Uh, let's just tune it up, though, using the pickup. If I can figure out how to do that on the back. So if I, oh yeah, if I just hold it down, you can't see this now, but there's a tuner on the back, and we can just tune up the strings like this. Awesome. We're in tune and ready to go. It sounds really awesome so far. I'm impressed by how loud it is just because I'm not used to playing this sort of guitar at all. There's usually pretty little sound when the electric guitar is being played without an amp and this definitely resonates very well. All right, let's try out some chords now for the first time here. so much louder than playing an electric guitar and it definitely feels pretty different to me right now. Definitely not going to be a pro at this right away, but sounding good so far. And just the size of the neck is very different than I'm used to. 
the thickness of the neck and I think mainly what's throwing me off is the size of the body but it's really fun and yeah it will be a while to get used to this. <laughs> feel kind of like a beginner all over again. Let's just try some power chords. One thing I have very little experience with that I think will be pretty essential to learning a bunch of acoustic songs is finger picking and I never really learned that much of it. I think it will actually pretty much destroy my, my fingers so I don't have calluses on my picking hands, but it will definitely be fun to try more of that out and see how it works. I don't actually remember how that totally goes, but that will be a good one to learn on the acoustic. This is really fun so far, but I definitely, as I mentioned, have a lot to get used to, mainly with just the size of the body and it just feels, my arm feels awkward compared to what I'm used to, so it feels pretty different playing things. But let's just try out some riffs I know that typically don't go on an acoustic. <laughs> on the acoustic. I guess I'll see how it turns out in the recording, but not too sure how common that is either in most acoustic music, but something that I have worked a lot with electric guitar, so wanted to try it out. I realized pretty soon after Orange would ask if they could send me out a guitar that I really don't know too many acoustic guitar songs or acoustic guitar driven music. It's not that I don't like it, I just haven't listened to it a ton, so I don't really know any songs that I could play on the acoustic right away. So if you have any suggestions on some fun riffs or songs for me to potentially learn, definitely leave them in the comments and I will check them out. So I think that is a horse with no name loosely. I actually just remembered that I learned that really short riff, really short part of the song, maybe with the inc incorrect rhythms. When I first started playing electric, that was one of the first things I learned. So that might be the only actually acoustic riff that I know, and I might not even be playing it right because I don't actually remember how it goes, but something like that. I'm really enjoying trying out this acoustic so far. It is really a different instrument than the electric guitar as I was expecting. It feels very different to play and they both have different skills required that you need to master to be able to play effectively on them, so it will be a long time before I am completely competent with the acoustic guitar, even though I've been playing electric for a while. But it's really a cool way to expand my horizons and try out something new. <laughs> guitar gear that's really common that I never had a use for before now but I decided to order when I knew I was getting this is a capo and I've never actually used one before but I know how they work so let's just try it out on the guitar now put it on the third fret I guess tire as expected common in different acoustic songs and riffs, so I thought I would get one now in preparation for learning some acoustic parts. This has been really fun trying out the acoustic guitar for the first time. I have a lot to learn, a lot to adjust to on the guitar, and 
I should actually learn some acoustic parts that are meant to be played on an acoustic guitar as well, but it's just been a really fun experience overall. I also really love how the guitar looks as well. The fretboard looks awesome, and so does the body, and it plays really well too, at least from what I'd expect from an acoustic guitar, but I don't have a ton of experience with things to compare it to, but I'm really happy with it. So thank you again so much to Orangewood for sending me the guitar. I really appreciate it. If you're interested in checking out their guitars, I'll have a link in the description. As I mentioned, while I will still be primarily doing electric guitar, it's really nice to have an acoustic available if I need it and to get a different perspective on guitar playing. And again, if you have any suggestions on acoustic riffs that I should learn, definitely let me know in the comments and also let me know if you'd like to see more content using the acoustic guitar in the future. Also, if you're interested in supporting the channel and getting a cool guitar related shirt, I'll have a link to this shirt and my other design as well in the description. Thank you so much for watching. I'm so happy I was able to share this first acoustic guitar experience with all of you, and I will see you in the next video.